In this video, I will explain how you can find out total number of cells that have same background color. Also, I will explain how you can get the sum of the values that are there in those cells as well. For example, over here we have got this range and in this range, what I want to do is that I want to find total number of cells that have blue background. Okay. And the reference uh, background color is also given here. So basically we are going to match with this one. So if the background color of any of the cells matches this color, then we want to uh, count that particular cell. So right now you can see that there is just one cell that has this blue background color. That means total count will be one. And we are going to print it over here. So this is the count of the blue cells and this is the sum of the blue cell values. Okay, so I have got this macro that I have created and as soon as I click on this calculate button, it is showing me those details over here. I will explain that macro code later on, but before that, uh, let me run this code. So right now it is showing one and two because total count of the blue cells is one and the sum of the blue cell values is two. So let us make some changes over here. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna make this cell so background color as blue and now I'm gonna calculate it once again so this time around what will happen is that over here total number of uh, blue cells will be two right now it is one but after I calculate it will become two and sum will be 12 plus 2 that is 14 so let us calculate over here and you can see that total number of blue cells is 2 and sum of the values in those cells is 14 now let us see how this works behind the scenes. So basically what I've done is that I have assigned a macro to this particular button. So if I click here, you can see that I'm calling this color macro. So this is the custom function or the macro that I've created, which is getting executed. So let us see uh, how that macro is written. So in this particular app script, you can see that this color macro function is over here. And basically what we are doing here is that this is our range B62 to B64, this one. So basically we are getting that range and then getting the background colors of all those cells using get backgrounds function. This is the built-in function. We are also getting the values in those cells as well in, in that particular range, B62 to B64. So those background colors and uh, the actual values are being stored in this particular objects, BG and values. Next thing is uh, we are getting the background color of the reference cell, this one. So we are getting that one using this particular function, get background. Once we have this information, what we want to do is that we want to compare each cell with this particular color. And if the color matches, then we want to either count it or we want to take the sum of the values in that particular cell. So basically uh, over here we are using the two for loops. So basically two for loops are being used because of the values and background information is in the two dimensional array. So this particular function calls get backgrounds and get values. They basically retain a two dimensional array. And we, ho we want to iterate that and that's why we have got two for loops over here. Over here we are comparing the color, the reference color. If it matches, then, then we are incrementing the count and also taking the sum as well. So these two variables are created over here and once this for loop ends the count variable will have the total number of cells that have the background color that matches this one and also the total variable will have the sum of the values in those cells and basically over here we are setting those things so that's how this particular macro works behind the scene that's it thanks for watching